Hi, this is Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group with today's home seller tip. With me today is Aaron Delgado. How you doing, Aaron? Hey, I'm doing great, guys. Thanks for having me today. Awesome. So Aaron's here to talk to me about the importance of having quality professional photography on your home when you list it. Uh, Many of you have probably had a situation where your realtor came through the house and they said, yeah, we're coming for photos on Tuesday at 5 p.m. Be ready. And then they show up with uh, with their flip phone or or, <laughs> or uh, their iPhone or Droid. And they start taking pictures. And I will tell you, that is not a game plan for success. So, Aaron, tell me a little bit about how you prepare and deliver great photos uh, in a real estate listing? Sure. Well, first and foremost, you know, the more exposure we can get to that property, the better. So having professional photography and really exposing the qualities of that home. Um, in today's market, stuff's flying off super fast. If you have something that's going to be eye-catching, um, people are going to want to see it right away. It's definitely going to sell a lot quicker. As far as preparation goes, you know, always include exactly what angles or what specific room, um, you know, if there's a ballroom, a pool room, um, anything in particular that you really want to highlight, very important to let the photographer know, and we'll do everything we can to, to capture that for you. Yeah, and your real estate agent can help you with that too. Like you as a you know, home seller, you don't you know you you're going to have ideas on what rooms are meaningful for you and how you use them. And a good stager, agent, photographer, there's a really close relationship that exists between uh, these three people. And keep in mind. The first showing happens on the internet. Like you Correct. don't even, you know, you're, you may say, well, you know, we got 20 showings. That's great. Well, you probably had 2000 online and the, yep. and you had to get, you're, you're vying for the attention of these people online to get them, you know, to click, look further, and then finally take time out of their day to come look at the property. Correct. So, uh, Aaron, any, any tips for getting the house ready? Like what? For sure. Yeah. Make sure all the lights are turned on. We want the blinds open. And we just want to get as much natural light as well in there. And, um, you know, clean this place. If you can stage it, awesome. What um, about my dog? <laughs> I, should I put my dog in the photos? Depending on the dog. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, you know, any personal photos, you know, you want to put those in the drawer, hide them. Uh, we want it to look like it's ready for that new homeowner. Yeah, because in a lot of ways, you are, once you decide to sell, you've effectively moved mm -hmm. out. So Correct. you have to suddenly the house has to no longer be your home and has to be it has to be neutralized so the next people can see themselves in it. The yeah. last thing people want to see walking through my house is me. <laughs> Correct. That's, that's why we ask sellers to leave yep. for showings <laughs> because when I walk through someone's house, I want to be able to visualize myself. And I know a lot of sellers want to be helpful and they want to lead you around and show you things. Exactly. I'm sorry, I don't want that. I want privacy to be able to put myself in the property, not not relive your memories but to start thinking about my own memories. And if you've got you, and if someone can do that, you're going to increase the likelihood that they're going to want to purchase your home. So, mm -hmm. so great photos predicated on, you know, decluttering, good light, cleanliness, and then highlighting some of the features and make sure that we point out what those are. Because exactly. if you want people to fall in love with your home, you have to one, make sure it's <laughs> doesn't appear as your home anymore. And then two, they got to see themselves in it. Correct. Yep. Awesome. Well, thank you, Aaron. Really appreciate you joining us today. Uh, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Sure. I'm on every social media site. Um, you can reach me at, at Aaron MSP photographer on Instagram. Okay. Uh, I do not only real estate photography, but headshots, portraits, lifestyle, anything you need, I'm happy to uh, assist with that. And I will tell you, his work is fantastic. So I'm Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group. If you want to get a hold of us, 612-600-8888, 612-600-8888. Call or text or online at verde-realestate.com. Thank you very much.